sick of getting this. No, yeah. That's a shame. Hey, Matt. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm very good. I'm really excited for my godson John's baptism tomorrow. Would you like to come? No, thanks. I'm good. I'm a Protestant. I don't believe uh, sacraments are necessary. Why don't you think they're necessary? Because it clearly states in Luke chapter 23, verses 39 through 43, that the thief on the right-hand side of Jesus that was crucified wasn't baptized, and yet he was saved. Well, you know, Matt, that is a really extraordinary situation. And also, the thief on the right who repented, he had the desire to be baptized. So had he been given the opportunity to be baptized, he would have. But if we look on the thief on the left, he did not repent. And it says that he, would, he went to hell. So if you really look at the, whole sto the story in whole, you'll see that if you desire it, you can have that exception. But it is still necessary for those who don't desire, like the thief on the left. But it also states in Acts chapter 10 that the people who St. Peter encountered as the Holy Spirit fell on them, and they weren't even baptized. Well, you see, we can also say that this is another baptism by desire, because had they had the opportunity, they would have definitely been baptized. And also, they desired God, as they said, the Holy Spirit was in them, so they would have desired for it. But how can we know when something is an exception? Well, Matt, everything has their exceptions and everything has their loopholes. Just like in laws, the same thing is true of the church and its teachings. But if we really want to be technical with the gospel, there is many places where it explicitly says that to achieve eternal salvation, we need to be baptized. But now we will talk about one Protestant view. If Protestants believe that you must receive Jesus in your heart, and nowhere in the gospel is this ever mentioned. So you see, we have more evidence for ours. Yeah, that's true. So Matt, would you like to come to the baptism now? Sure. All right, well, I would like you to meet my godson, John. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming to the baptism. Isn't he a cute kid? Yeah. Thanks, Sal. So. What do you ask of the Church of God? Faith. What does faith offer you? Eternal life. If then you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with thy whole heart and with thy whole soul and with thy whole mind and thy neighbor as thyself. Receive the march of the cross on your forehead and within your heart, embrace the faith with its divine teaching to live that you will be indeed the temple of God. Receive thy soul, which is a symbol of wisdom, and for a life everlasting. Amen. Peace be with you, and with thy spirit. I exercise you, unclean spirit, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Come forth, depart this from the servant of God, for he commands you a cursed and damned spirit, he who walked upon the sea and extended his right hand to Peter as he was sinking. Cursed devil, never dare to disgrace the sign of the holy cross, which he was tracing upon his forehead, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Do you renounce Satan? I do renounce him. In all his works? I do renounce him. In all his pomps? I do renounce him. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born into his, this world and who suffered? I do. Do you believe also in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. Do you wish to be baptized? I do. I baptize thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
of the Holy Spirit. Receive this burning light and keep the grace of your baptism throughout a blameless life. Observe the commandments of God. Then, when the Lord comes to his heavenly wedding feast, you will be able to meet him with all the saints in the halls of heaven and life forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace, and the Lord will be with you. Amen.